so so my main concern is obviously with the younger generation so maybe we didn't partake in so much community activity that we should but as we are getting older we are losing our parents our grandparents so it's a great concern to us to come to the graveyard and see the state of the graveyard we're living in a first world country and when you come here it's, it, it reminds me that I'm in Pakistan somewhere. So all I'm asking is, I'm not blaming no one to say there's misappropriation of funds, there's misappropriation of work people. All we want is a simple audit to say how much money is being produced by a charity, by a grant, however it is, and how is it being spent. And all we will do as a community, if number one, there's not enough money being produced by the community, or we're not getting enough grants, or we're not getting enough funding, we can help to make sure that we are getting enough funding, we are getting more grants, that we can do charity events to raise more money because we found ourselves in the situation where we wanted to actually do a charitable donation after I lost my mother-in-law and we wanted to do something for the local community in the graveyard but we didn't know who to contact, we didn't know where the money is going to go, how to do it and it shouldn't be like this. If someone wants to donate or invest into the local community it should be a clear simple way so all we ask for is who is in charge of the graveyard clearly who is in charge what are their roles where is the money coming from how is it being spent and where is it being spent and if for example they're saying we need a new gate, we need cctv we need this that all they could just say is we don't have enough money so we want to know how much money are you getting every single year where is it being spent and maybe we can just rearrange it to spend it better and if you say okay we're only getting 50,000 it's not enough to do everything that you want then let the community go out fundraise do charitable mm. events raise the money and as long as we know if we raise 50,000 it's not going to go 45,000 on admin fees and 5,000 pound on the thing we want all the money to go invested because you can write as much as you want in your book while you're alive 10 houses, 10 cars, 50 watches, but we have to start writing things when we're gone. That's when you're gonna, Allah's gonna open the book and he don't care how many houses and how much money and what you got. He's gonna just care about what you've done for your community, for your Muslims. Thank so you. all we want as a younger generation is just to, a simple, we live in a very modern society. Who is the management of this graveyard? Where you. is the money getting produced? Thank you. I agree with every word you Very said. simple. Yes. Let the gentleman. Well, this is a, an important place, I mean, for the Muslim community, a graveyard. It's somewhere where people can lay down their dead, so it should be treated with respect. The dead should be treated with the respect that they deserve, the same as they did when they were alive. I mean, this is maybe not the best site in London, but it's the site you have. But it needs to be made more secure. There are houses just along the road there, so that I'm sure that the kids come up and play and the little gypsy community next door. And sadly, they don't treat other people with the respect that they deserve, sadly. They see the rubbish that they dump outside their own camp and leave it for someone else to pick up. So, and they've been coming in and killing birds here. I and mean, maybe they put bread down to attract the birds killed. So the people who are in charge of the graveyard, whoever they may be, need to come and look at it and they need to make it plain to the community that they are going to do so. Keep the grass cut, make the site more secure. Um, and get the place looked after, get kept clean, keep the paths clear of weeds and maintain the site. There should be someone here. Whether or not it would need CCTV, I don't know. It's not expensive, no, it's not cheap to run. And where would you put it? But, Thank you. you know, it does need treating with respect and the, the trust need to be made aware and answer to the community who are paying that money to the trust for this site. Thank you very much.